hello, I'm Jolena Johnson, publisher of Mission Possible Press, and I am honored to be here with our brand new author, brand new novelist, Mitchell Margot. And Mitch has written a book called Black Hearts, White Minds. It's an amazing journey through 1964 Alabama. And as you continue to watch and listen to what he has to say, I think you'll be intrigued and truly enjoy the journey. How are you, Mitch? Terrific, thanks, Jolena, nice to be here. It's great to be here too. Well, we're just gonna dive right in. How about that? Sounds good. Okay, so my first question. How can we interpret the title, Black Hearts, White Minds? What does it mean to you, and what can readers expect? Well, Black Hearts, White Minds was the product of a lot of people thinking about what was going on in this book. Uh, and true to form, I think, it, it has a lot of meanings. Uh, it, black Hearts, White Minds fits some of the black characters in the book. It fits some of the white characters in the book. Half of it fits some of the characters, the other half fits some of the characters. So I think it's just a, a, a title that people will understand as they read uh, how it is we came up with this title. Okay, so when you think about static, you know, like when, when you think of white minds, and we're not even talking about race, um, white minds, what, do you, what would you say that people could interpret that to be? Uh, people can interpret that to be racist, people can interpret that to be closed, people can mm -hmm. interpret that to be pristine. Mm -hmm. uh, white has a lot of different meanings mm -hmm. and it has a lot of different interpretations. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, you'll, you'll see a lot of them in the book. Mm -hmm. I agree, okay. since I've read the book a, a time or two, right? Right. <laughs> okay. 